So I'm going to give you folks a little tour of my irrigation system and what it takes to irrigate uh, 31,000 square feet off a well. So we'll start with this. This is a fertigation system. I just installed it this week. It's just a pump and it pumps it from a container, which I would normally have like a little tank, but it hasn't come in. Pumps it from that container back into this and then it injects it into the main line of the irrigation. This fertigation system is made by turf feeding systems. So you just take this syringe here and this is where you prime it. I just turn this valve, take that syringe and you know you just suck the liquid through that syringe and that primes it and close the valve and this uh, fertigation system it runs off the irrigation controller you can do it manual or uh, off the irrigation controller i just run off the irrigation controller and there's a dial where you set it how much you want to uh you know how much you want to pump in it so yeah so my well pump's made by Gould's. Uh, it's a three horsepower pump. It's a constant pressure system. So, you know, it may drop. I have the pressure set at 70. So it might drop uh, to 68. It runs 68 to 70 all the time. The reason why it says 73 is because the pump actually got a soft shut off it actually runs just a few seconds after the water quits flowing and it doesn't doesn't run a very big well tank it's a i think a seven gallon tank so now i'm in a well house <clears throat> so this right here is a uh, a well watch it's just a remote panel uh, it's hooked to my well underground. It runs, the cable runs underground. So my well is 215 feet deep and the pump is sitting at 192 feet. And I just got done pumping it. I run a little irrigation cycle and the water level is 49.75 feet from the surface, from the ground, top of the ground. Normally it sits about 46 feet. And it also shows what it went down to the lowest the water level got. Remember, my pump's at 192 feet. And on a typical irrigation cycle, it'll go down to about 116, 118. For, you know, running at six and a half hours at one time. So we'll walk out here. And this is the actual well. It's an old well. It was drilled in uh, 1964. So the casing doesn't stick up out of the ground. It's actually in there. And I have the well watch hooked to that, to the well seal. And this well, it makes about 75 gallons a minute so it, it really does it to it so here we've got a backflow preventer now i don't have to run this on a well i don't drink the well water it's fantastic but i just use it for irrigation but this is coming from the city so if i want to switch over to city water if something was to ever happen to my well I would simply uh, just cut off the valve to the well and open this up. And this is the backflow preventer. Uh, all my irrigations are one and a half inch main. And all of it runs here to a master valve. So it's controlled by the irrigation controller. Um, you know, when a, the way this works is the irrigation controller sends a signal to this 
and this opens up and allows the water to go to, you know, whichever zone is going to open up. No zones open up unless this opens up. So, you know, it could prevent uh, flooding or something. And then it runs into a flow meter. And this flow meter is actually wireless. You can do it wired, but it works better wirelessly for some reason. And it's just an antenna that sits on top of the valve box. And then it goes over to, yeah, my well house is old. This is an old, old place. So, excuse my hands, I've been digging in the dirt here. It goes over to the controller, to Hunter, Pro HC. There's the antenna for the uh, flow meter. And it sends it all to my phone. And uh, this is a solar panel for the well watch. It's all made by Eno Scientific. Highly recommend getting a well watch. I mean, it can really save your well if something was to happen. And this actually runs my well to where um, I can monitor it on my phone off an app, AQ Wi-Fi app. So it sends me a signal, you know, if it's running, how long, you know, if it, like I got it set where if it's run more than a minute at a time, um, it sends me a text message. So, yep, that's it. I didn't uncover this valve box. It's just a blowout valve. But um, I have 87 heads, uh, 13 zones. Uh, most of the zones run six to seven rotors per zone and they do around 24 25 gallons per minute so I run Rainbird 5000 plus rotors uh, these are if I can get my screwdriver in there these are the stainless steel ones I run 4.0 nozzles and the ones that does 360 and 2.0 nozzles and the ones that does uh, 180. And here's a valve box. I've got three of these. Uh, those are Eritrol valves. And I forgot to mention that, uh, or I did mention my main line is one and a half inches and the lateral line running to the zones is one inch. So, uh, fescue's looking good. Uh, getting ready for the summer and the heat So a Lot to maintain Around here These beds Probably worse than the grass it's 12,000 well like 12,500 square feet of beds And it's a nightmare. I got to spray that it's nuts edge but I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.